I gotta. F I want to make this build low key consistent. I think I can do it. I think I can do it. If I could just start the correct way, you know what I mean. I feel like it's very, 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 very possible. This should be an automatic win. I'm gonna keep rolling though for just items. At least roll twice. Um, we're getting both of these. I get that. Didn't really get the items I wanted. I wanted a shell totem. And I wanted some whetstones, but that'll be okay. We should win this due to just leather armor. Giving us time to use this. But then he did the same thing low-key with Goober. The healing, giving him time to do this. To increase the damage. I guess leather armor is just better. Yeah. But to be fair, he did only have one sword, so... I guess that's that. Hmm. I could keep leather armor. I might as well keep leather armor. I don't see a reason to delete it. Just yet. Yeah, we're fine. We got space. <laughs> two totems? You think that's the good way to start with this build? It's just to rock two totems? Armor level one are always nice games. Yeah, agreed. <laughs> You just get easy wins at the beginning with the extra survivability. It's always perfect. Always perfect. Um, I think I'm just gonna do this. Even with just a sword. <laughs> oh, that is a hammer, and he has—he's got armor too with a dagger. Yeah, we lose. We lose for sure. Oh, never mind. I don't know how I won that. No idea. No idea. Let's do this. I'm not sure where this can go. Maybe if we rotate everything. Put this here. And nope, that doesn't work. Um, yeah, I'm not, uh, yeah. Let me rotate that back. Alrighty. <laughs> All right, well, I guess I could just do that. We'll just roll with this. That'll work. Four totems, no weapon, one corrupted crystal. <laughs> they just use the totems for healing. And then the freaking fatigue, fatigue build, bro. Fatigue build. <laughs> oh, free! My stones. No wonder we did so bad. All right, that was a misplay. That was a misplay. That was a misplay. <laughs> Gamer moment, right? That was a misplay. No, it's okay. <laughs> he didn't even try to correct me. He legit just said gamer <laughs> moment. <laughs> okay, little bows and arrows. But now our setup is actually upside right. We should be fine. Stones for the win. Give me another, uh... Give me another gloves, please. Wow. Thank you. Appreciate your cooperation, sir. Uh, what do I want now? I think I just want lamps. For now. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Dang it! That's some garlics. If only I had garlics, huh? I'll take you. Um, what are you giving me? I am not using potions. No, thank you. I guess it's better, yeah, it's better to put this like that on the stone. More than likely. We could, uh, we could sacrifice the armor. And the healing herbs. Why not? Sacrifice armor and healing herbs, because we really don't need them. Might as well, we might get something good out of it. A phoenix, huh? With double daggers? It's interesting. Oh, look! The phoenix actually looks burnt out when, he, when it's used now. That's really cool. That's really, really cool. Oh, wow. A mana thirst? Ooh. I'll keep it? Is 
Interesting. I'm gonna... That's interesting. We could do a different um, variation of this build then. If that's the case. Might as well. A cooler variation. A Victorious. You know what I mean? A cooler variation of Victorious. Do that. This can go there. And all is right within the world. Have you tried Ripshot with three green jewel? I have not. Isn't that just poison? Ripshot with poison? It's a poison Ripshot build. Oh, I need to get rid of the shell totem. I forgot about that. It's eating up my stamina. High key eating up my stamina. I don't need you. And I have no lamps. Where the hell are all my lamps? There is one. Um... I'm actually gonna get some vampiric gloves. <laughs> we might have to rearrange soon, more than likely. <laughs> I don't know why I'm still trying to make this work with this uh, the setup I have. I really shouldn't. Unhealing build without the unhealing staff? Question mark. Can we win? Oh, fresh ham! You're joining the Smoe family VIP. Swear. Yo. Hey, welcome to the. Small family VIP. I don't know what I don't know what to name it, but welcome and thank you. I appreciate that. And hey, MJ, what's up? Thank you for the follow as well. Just saw the zero second Ranger video. Yes, sir. You sir, as fucking insane. I appreciate it. Thank you. <laughs> the freaking build is insane. I'm glad you enjoyed it for sure. I'm um I'm I'm glad you enjoyed it. Make one platinum card for more chance for the godlike gaming present. Fuck that present. Me and my homies hate the present. We hate the present. <laughs> It, it, it can be fun sometimes. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. When that when that thing first came out, it has some of the best games. I swear. Hey, Bog. I started watching your stuff earlier. I love the chill vibes. Thank you. I appreciate that. It means a lot, actually. It means a lot. I'm about to sell this bag of stone situation for this mana orb, and I want to rearrange. We're rearranging. I really wanna. I really wanna rearrange. Cause this is interesting. Getting that freaking mana thirst could actually be cool, and it kind of synchronizes with the build, considering that we're utilizing a vampiric item and this increases with vampirism the lifesteal right and falcon blade can be really good with mana orb for getting mana because it's a double trigger right so shit we could try something cool i guess don't know how i want this to set up though don't know how i want this to set up though at all but we can try something here what if we were to do because i want this here no here this here and we could put this here okay so far so good it's not looking bad right and then we can use that i don't really care where the mana orbs go i guess i say that as i'm trying to min max mana orbs that's fine those are fine mana orb spots this guy can go here and i guess we'll just yeah i mean yeah, I like this actually. That's a solid setup. We get enough mana to get this thing to proc and we get all this freaking vampirism from every single item that we have. It's a W, right? It's a W. I don't really need space, do I? Yeah. All right, I was hoping for more piggies. That's kind of what I want. I look, you want more, more piggies. Um, yeah, that's fair with present. All of my Brazil, all of Brazilian community like more the gingerbread jerry and the tim yeah definitely i think gingerbread jerry wait wait wait. i might take that back i was gonna say gingerbread jerry is my favorite unique but but with the new uniques that we have it might be uh ghost dude <laughs> it might be unsettling presence this might have taken the throne as my favorite unique item now i have not used time dilator but i heard it's good like really good but i've never had a game with it which is weird Considering I've had like three unselling presence games. It doesn't like me, I guess. Okay, we're at round 11. 
I would like more money, but I'm not gonna get it. Roll? Um... I'm broke. I am broke. I am broke. <laughs> I should probably move this. Putting this on the vampire gloves is probably smarter. Just for the sake of speed, right? That would make sense. Oh my... I just got... De I went from full health to zero. In like two seconds. I guess it was the uh, brass knuckle stunning me. Or something. I don't know what happened. That, that was insane, actually. It's okay. We'll bounce back. We will bounce back. We will bounce back. 10 gold. Uh, okay, let's move you. Fuck it. I only have one pig. If I had more than one pig, I wouldn't have done that. But I only got one pig. Time dilator with uh, one ticking item is so good. Oh, yeah, yeah. And did you know? Did you know? Did you know? Did you know that time dilator can affect itself? So it can make itself even faster. Like, if it's, if Time Dilator itself is the only ticking item on the board, it just gets super duper fast, which is pretty insane. <laughs> Granted, you probably won't have a weapon on your board, but, like, it's still pretty insane, right? Thank you for the follow, Steven. I appreciate that. One weapon fast and two lamps. Time Dilato Focus Lamp. <laughs> Don't ask me why I said dilated diet whatever like that yo steven thank you for the twitch prime sub thank you and welcome I, you know what i need a name i need a name for the community i've been i i don't know what name for the community day that we can come up with but i feel like it needs a name because everyone has like a name for their community don't they right like the majority of like content creators for the most part have like some can i get lucky can i get no no Damn it, I wasted all my gold. But I feel like they all have like a name or something. I want a name too. Best viewers, fuck you. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> fucking bots, get out my stream. You, no one wants to buy view bots from you, okay? I'm, I'm fine with my two people. I'm fine with my two people. Me and my two people. It's like a nice little, can I win? Okay, what a crazy ass game, bro. What the hell? We were both going back and forth from maximum health to 100 damage rapier. Oh my gosh. We're not even, well, 67, but this hits twice though. So this hits twice is doing like 120 damage. That Raper is doing 100 damage. We're both going back and forth. We have 1,000, 2,000 heal. What was your heal? Okay, so my heal was basically better. Mana Thirst didn't heal that much. Only 153 from Mana Thirst, which is interesting. Well, actually, no, that is a lot. Wait, 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 that is a lot. That 153 is purely from the uh, the gaining of mana, right? And instilling of the, of the life. So 153 is a lot, because that's like 30, which means it activated like five times, right? Because five times three is 150. That means we gain like a shit ton of mana. <laughs> yeah, because we're at 26, both of these proc, that's 3-6. That's like 90 mana and then some change, you know? I don't know, I kind of like this, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like rocking mana thirst with Falcon Blade. It just adds like a nice little accessory on the side. I wasn't planning on rocking it, but I kind of like it. There are seven out. I love all seven of you. You guys are amazing. Time later, dilator will also speed up your bag. Oh. Oh. I didn't even think about that. Oh, so if you only if you only have time dilator and just speeds up your bag, that's kind of nutty. But then again, like, what would you put in your bag for it to even matter that it's speeding up your bag? <laughs> Because, like, if you put a weapon in your bag, then it's just going to speed up the weapon and not, like, what you actually wanted to speed up, right? All right, we have another oil lamp, which means we low-key might have a problem of where to place this guy. Unless I... no. I was going to say unless I move this up by one, but I don't want to move that up by one, right? I guess maybe this is fine. I feel like there's a better way... I feel like there's a better way to do this, to like do this layout. Wow, that's just lucky. What is this, round five? Um, but yeah, I feel like there's a better way to do this layout because Mana Thirst isn't even inside, inside the Relic case, which I guess doesn't matter. It's not like Mana Thirst. Well, no, because the increase in damage is nice, right? Should I rearrange again and try to fit Mana Thirst inside of the, uh, the Relic case? What do you guys think? 
I don't think I want to sell anything to get this. So I'm just going to get this next round and buy the blood. Amulet. I feel like I should try... Maybe... Something like... Let's... I'm just... What is this? But maybe something like, uh... Come back. Like this. Okay. We're here, right? And then we'll, uh... We'll do this. I can even do this. My microphone keeps on moving up by itself. It's fucking erect. Please. There we go. Okay. I didn't feel like holding it for the entirety of the stream. Okay, if we do this, and then we do this, and we move the board over, and we get a bunch of space on this side for all these slots, that should be better. That might be better on the mana orbs too. Okay, so boom, boom, boom. Um, ooh, then I gotta worry about the oil lamps though. So I guess we'll do oil lamp one, oil lamp two, and then oil lamp three. And then thirsty thirst. Hey, that works. Yeah, that's way better placement. Now that they're all, uh, both the weapons are inside the relic case, that's higher DPS for the mana thirst. Yeah, I like that. I like that, that's good. I like that. I'm thinking cauldron, cauldron. Hold up, I'll read it after this battle because I want to see this. With the lightsaber, blind is going to be a thing. Jesus Christ. I can't do anything if I can't hit. Well, I mean, Mana Thirst can hit. Out of stamina? He does have a shield. But I am gaining clovers. Please, heal. Nice. We almost died due to that freaking glowing crown. Good game. Good game. We honestly was low-key saved. Jesus, 0 0.2. We were low-key saved from... uh. Stop it! <laughs> low-key saved from the Mana Thirst because of the accuracy on it. Enough time for the um, the prismatic orbs to build up luck for us in order for our falcon blade. Then again, we have accuracy increase from the oil lamp. So, I mean, we almost died. Almost died. The ad, adage, I'm sorry. <laughs> you can look how many times each item triggered. Oh yeah, you can from activations. Yeah, I forgot this was a thing. I wonder if this uh, counts as like twice, because it's it's literally doubled in mana thirst. But it, <laughs> I'm pretty sure Falcon Blade isn't like double as fast. But I mean, you hit once. I guess that counts as two activations. That would make sense. How did you activate two times? Oh, because of the fanny packs. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Huh. Cool, cool. Yo, Steven! Not you gifting the sub too? Not you gifting the sub too? Who, who got it? Mr. Popsicles? Okay. Okay. Mr. Popsicles. He, he comes through sometimes. That's dope. Thank you, Steven. Jesus. You're freaking amazing. I think I'm at... Well, I'm at three? Let's go. Three! You have you have supplied 60% of my entire yearly income. I appreciate that. You are amazing. And thank you. Thank you. I. Why am I buying these? I remember why I'm buying these. I remember. I should get a jewel box. I should get a jewel box. Oh yeah, I should definitely get a jewel box. Last four rounds, let's put some jewels on these things. That'd be great. Another ad? There's no way, YouTube doesn't like me. Or maybe they don't like y'all. YouTube doesn't like y'all. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 hold up. But yeah, thank you, Steven. I feel like I didn't give you enough a thank you -age. So I appreciate that, Steven. Thank you so much. Thank you. <laughs> you are amazing. Okay, here's the plan. Last three rounds, what do we want? I'm fi I'm feeling like we're pretty solid on these prismatic orbs. I'm fine with three. I wouldn't mind another blood amulet put over there, but I'm not tripping. What I want is some jewels. Is some jewels, is some jewels. That's what I want, some jewels. So let us get, or try to get some jewels. Awesome. Um, Round three. I can buy you next round, I don't mind. I'm feeling confident in this build. I don't think we're going to lose anything. I'll buy this though. Yeah, I don't think we're going to lose anything. I'm I'm feeling pretty confident. Unless we go against like another Bloodthorn with a similar build. It is another Bloodthorn, but it's not a similar build. We should be fine. We, sh we could get some crit chance survivability. Like that wouldn't be bad. 
Yeah, we should be fine. 75 critical, just heal it right back. 100 critical, just heal it right back. <laughs> this build is kind of... It's kind of OP. And then I'm gonna get this for 30% more. Like... Nico wouldn't be bad for the survivability, but meh. Alright, give me another jewel. Thank you. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I could buy you now. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Nah, I'll just buy you next round. I'm, I'm gonna buy you next round. We'll buy you next round. We'll buy you on the fire round, and then I'm gonna try to get a jewel for uh for my mana thirst to see what happens. A burst build. We might die here. We actually might, yeah. Damn. Damn. Sag. We need some type of crit or burst build like defense. Nico's would have been great. 15% chance to resist caps would have been great. Um but yeah. What's up with that for reservation roll to get a gym? So basically. You're using the customer cards. Someone told me about this in chat one day, and I decided to try it out today, and it actually works. But it's it's but basically you would use you would just buy a bunch of customer cards, and then during the, like the later rounds you can like high roll for like higher items. Um, so like I don't know how it works per se, but my theory is that you would. Res like you would reserve all your items except a holy or a, except a godly item and every time you roll you will only get godly items because of the customer cards right that's my assumption of how it works so if i roll here this is a godly item right so i would take everything off and i would get another godly item and another godly item which this time was just another perfect ruby right <laughs> which i wasn't trying to get three perfect rubies at the end of the game. I don't even think I can buy it. Hey, perfect. Let's go. So here we go. Here's our build. <laughs> I think this is the most perfect version of this build I have made yet. Besides the fact we have no defense, no caps. If we go against another burst build, it is quite possible we lose. However, we just have to hope and pray that we don't go against another burst build. That's all. All right. We don't go against another burst build. Cool. I always feel like I need three shields plus stones. Yeah, to send a chance against burst. Agreed. Agreed. Nikos are really good, though. Nikos are really good. Because you're basically, like... You're basically killing their crit. The 15% crit, I feel like, is really nice with Nikos. Especially if you can buy one on sale. And they stack with each other because they're so expensive. That you can use one on the other to help you, like, with space and whatnot. Um, but yeah, that and caps... That and caps. Something I should have focused on in this build. I'm like, a, this is basically a glass cannon. Kind of a glass cannon. I guess I do have some survivability, right? With like the vampirism and the mana thirst or whatnot, but still kind of, kind of ish. Kind of, you know, not as beefy as other builds besides my healing. This guy is doing pretty well. He's got a little bit of healing himself, but then again, he does have triple prismatic orbs just like we do. He might be able to one-shot us if yeah oh ah sag <laughs> good game though 36 empowerment with 27 vampirism i see why people are rocking the spike staff now i see i see that empowerment is no joke bloody dagger is a nice choice claws of attack is a nice choice and then a forging hammer hitting you for 74 damage all nice choices when it comes to weapons. Good game, though.